Hello guys, it's me Tariq Akhtar Ansari. In this video, we are going to cover a very important topic, Angular service. During the interview, the interviewer asks many questions regarding Angular services. So you can think how important for an Angular developer. So let's dive deep into it without any further delay. So these are the things we are going to cover in this video. We'll start from injectable decorator, then we will understand dependency injection, and then we will try to understand injector, then provided in which we provide the values inside the injectable uh, as a key and we could pass the values platform root any null so we'll understand all these things and then we'll try to understand inject method which is introduced in version 14. Now let's understand what is service from official documentation. If you see here it's clearly written a service is typically a class with narrow well-defined purpose. It should do something specific and do it well. Angular distinguish components from services to increase modularity and reusability. So basically we use components. Components job is to enable only user experience. And we use component to write view and application logics, right? And we use services for fetching the data from the server, validating user inputs, logging directly to the console or for writing the business logics. We use services. Angular doesn't enforce these principles. Whatever I said, we could write all the things inside the component itself. But Angular, instead Angular helps to follow these principles by making it easy to factor applications logic into services, right? So we could uh, segregate from the uh, like application logic and business logic and we could write something in uh, services and we could reuse. So Angular help us to do these things, right? But they don't enforce these principles. So let's understand services from our first example. We have two different components, component A and component B. So what I'm trying to do here is I wanted to add task from here. And when I click on add task button, I wanted to show the task inside component B. And all the list of the task which I'll add from component A, I wanted to show in component B. So how we will do the data sharing between these two different components, we will use services here. So let's understand more from our code. So here you could see we have two different component. It is a very simple application. We have component A and component B. Inside the app component, I have listed down the two different component, component A and component B. So now what I'm trying to do here is I'll create first service, uh, ng generate service, service folder, and I'm giving the name of the service is task. So here you could see services generated successfully. So inside this service, what I'm trying to do, I'll create a variable private data type will be string of array, which will hold all the name of the task. By default, I will initialize inside the construction. So let's use the construction for initializing this. This dot data equal to blank array. Perfect. Now let me create two method here. Get task. It will return string of array so basically this is going to return this dot data let me type the return keyword here so we'll not get any error perfect now one more method we need add task it will take task as string and and it will add this task to this dot data dot put task perfect so this is our service ready now we need to inject this service inside our component so let's add inside component a first so how will we inject we need constructor so let me create a constructor in component a so the way to inject a service is we inject here so we write as a dependency here so let me write like either private or public private let me use underscore task task service perfect so i injected this it means this component is dependent on this service so angular before creating the object of this component will look into their constructor so that they will know that this component is dependent on this service so angular will check their registry if the object of this service is available it will pass the reference to this variable if not then he will create first the object of this service and then it will pass to this component now so let's make it public so i could use in template as well so i'll use inside the template as well now what I wanted to do here, whenever user will click, so let me add click event here, click. What I wanted to do, I wanted to call add task, right? This dot add task. And here what I wanted to pass, string value. 
so let me create a template reference variable hash task i could use task dot value here perfect now after adding the task i want to clear the text box as well so let me add one more statement here task dot value equal to blank so i have two statement this is the second statement this is the first statement what this statement will do it will add the task first and then it will clear the input box perfect that is done here and i think we are done here for the component a now let's inject the same service in component b as well so here we also need the constructor i'm injecting the service we need to import this service now let's use this inside this so i have already commented that here we need to show the task list let me first uncomment and show you how it will look like on the ui so as of now it has some errors let me save this actually we haven't saved this service that's why we are getting error let me go here so it will show like this task 1 task 2 this is just a static value let's update it here so in component b we are going here and we need to let me delete the second one and instead of directly writing this like let me use ng for here let let me take let task of this dot get tasks right so this is the method we are using from the service so this will return the list of task and one by one will fetch and using interpolation we could show here task now let's go and check we don't have anything item 1 here you could see it's coming here if i add and even you could see the text box is empty just after clicking on the add task let me add item 2 here you could see two is coming let me add item 3 don't be worry i'll give the link of this example in the description so if you want to check you can so what are the takeaways from this example let's understand one by one so the first thing we'll try to understand is injectable decorator we are using just before the class so this class becomes service wherever you use injectable decorator inside angular ecosystem that class will become the service automatically angular will treat this class as a service like if you have seen in component we have at the rate component decorator that makes the class as a component so this class is not a normal class this becomes the component in the same way angular create this class as a service now in angular uh, services so here you could see we are passing the option provided in root what does it means this means is that the only one object of this service class will be created and will be circulated throughout the application so whoever needs like component a needs or component b needs whoever needs we will pass the same reference the only reference throughout the application it means both the component component a and component b is sharing the same same object so we angular creates only one object and keep inside a registry so whoever is dependent on this service angular pass the reference of this object to that component that's why we are able to share the services between two different components now if we remove this or if we pass null as a parameter in that case we will not be able to use this service inside the angular unless and until we will not add that now here you could see that we have started getting error what is the error if you see closely let me open the console panel here here you could see that null injector error if you are getting this it means they don't know about this service so the reason because we have added null so how we could make them aware of this service so the simply answer is we need to add this in module inside the providers array let me import this as well in that case it will work as it was working previously let's see item 1 it's working blah blah it's working fine right now there is one more way to inject this service like we could also inject inside a component not if we add or if we inject like if we provides inside this it means only one object it will create one object for this module only and we will share that object inside 
this module so whatever inside this module like we have components or we have services or anything inside this module we could share the same object of this service with all of them but if we have different module in that case angular will create another object of the same service take an example we have app module or we have one more lazy loaded module or any module where we are using the same task service inside the providers if you think that we are sharing the same object between these modules then that is not happening if we are using these options provided in null null or you don't pass anything both are same let's check that still it will work in the same way see here right now there is one more way like we could use instead of using in module level we could also use in component level what does it means let uh, let's understand it we will able to add inside the components so here we have component a providers we are passing this here and we need to import it this as well okay so we already imported here in the same way because we are using in component level and we have two different components we will add here as well so i think at this point of time you guys know what will happen we are not sharing the same object between two components so do you guys think that it will add no 100% it will not but it's working so now in that case what happens we will be able to share the same object only within this component or with the child component of this component but not with the different component like in our case component a and component b have created two separate instance of the same service that's why we are not able to share the data between these two they have two different object of the same service so we have two more options with services so let's understand one by one so any so any what it does it creates a single object for all the eagerly loaded module and separate object for each lazy loaded module so let's understand from here like we have two module app module and product module if we are doing eagerly loaded we will create only one object this uh, one object of service class and we will share the same object with every module and every component of that modules but if we are doing lazy loaded for each lazy loaded module we create a separate object so here the data sharing if you think in different module it will not work but here it will work so this is happens with the options of any if you use provided in any options we have one more option which is platform let me explain platform is like the bigger than like uh, the root it's provide the single objects throughout the platform so like here take an example we have service if we use root then only one object will be created throughout the application not only for the app module it will for all the modules and if we use platform it will create the single object inside whole platform now let's learn a new way of injecting a service into component services or anywhere wherever you need it so let me like delete from here what i will do i will create public equal to inject we have inject function from a core package so this function is added in uh, angular core from version 14 and here we could pass the the dependent class name so it will create it will provide the object of this by default angular looks into the registry and if the object is there it will pass the reference to this and if not then it will create and then it will pass the reference here so now it works in the same way like it it was working previously let me update to the component b as well here now here we need to import this we imported successfully let me delete this one save it and let's check the output so if we do here something still it's working so this is the new way of injecting the service so this is what we have built in the last video if you haven't watched that video you can click on the i button to get the link of this video and also i have given the link in the description so you can watch from anywhere now in this applications i build uh, this is a crud applications where you can add employee details you can update the employee details and also you can delete the employee details and here you could see the list of these employees for fetching all the employees details and adding and listing for all the crud operations i have created a service for interacting with the rest apis so let's jump into the code and understand in more detail so here you could see guys uh, this service is also dependent on other services 
this employee service is dependent on HTTP client and here what I'm doing I'm trying to connect with the rest APIs and trying to send the data get the data update the data and delete the data so these CRUD operations I'm performing here so I have written the services for it and I'm using the services inside the component but let me clear one myth guys most of the angular developer also think that we 100% like it's a mandatory to use services to connect with the rest APIs but this is not true you can inject this service inside the component as well and you can write all the methods inside the component to do all the operations but as I said in the beginning like in angular we try to separate the view logic and business logics so that's the reason we use services otherwise we don't need it we could write all the things inside the component itself you guys can try if I'll try it will take a lot of time so I don't want to waste much of the time so that's all for this video guys hope you enjoyed if you want to watch that video I'll give the link in the descriptions as well where I have created this CRUD application so you can watch from starting to the end everything okay so thank you guys and if you like my videos please like share and subscribe my channel and if you have any questions just comment down below I'll be happy to answer.